firstly, I would like to uh, express my gratitude. Uh, I'm very thankful to ESLS Asia for giving all the Asia players the last chance to qualify to the playoff. It's a good effort to promote our region. I'm very satisfied with their service and with their help uh, during uh, their whole tournament so far. Uh, no, I think it's a daily challenge for me because this is not the first time I am the sole Asia representative in national tournament. So this is just another challenge for me and now my target is the challenge. Uh, professional is a strong word. I think the best word to represent me right now is I'm just a competitive player. I'm still a student. I, I take FIFA as a part time and still as a hobby. But when I finish my studies, I will consider taking FIFA seriously and as a full time job. Honestly, uh, every competition uh, here are uh, equally good. But I personally, I don't know any one of them. And I rarely meet them online. So anyone that I will face, I will take them seriously and I will try my best. Um, since I'm still a student, and next week I will have my final exam. So it's quite tough for me to balance my studies and my FIFA career. And this tournament, honestly, I rarely train anymore, practice anymore. During weekdays, I I just focus on my studies and my assignments and. On weekend, I uh, play the uh, weekend league, the uh, food champion, like five hours, six hours a day, which is I think is sufficient because at this point I don't think I need that excessive amount of practice. Just the amount of practice so that I can maintain my form. I have learned a lot uh, from Barcelona for pro players. I think though of uh, preparation tactically. I've come up with a few tactics to counter various play styles. Depending on my opponent, I will just break their gameplay and I will try to counter their gameplay. My personal favorite football club is the, the current English champions, Jesse City. <laughs> I've been supporting them since I was 12 and they were rising as a team. And now to see them uh, breaking all the records in Premier League uh, is an amazing team and I'm proud to be part of it. It's a Honestly, I rarely play the club most the season kickoff. But when in local tournament, I use them. But as my third team, my first and second team, as a competitive player, I have to respect the tournament. And I do use the best team, which is, uh, in my opinion, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when I first entered my first tournament, they thought I was taking just for fun, but when they saw I won a lot of tournaments and recently qualified as the sole representative for Asia for the first Foot Champions Cup, uh, they believed in me and they supported of my hobby and I hope that uh, in the future they will keep on supporting me so that I can achieve my dream which is uh, to play for the professional football club. I still remember the first time I beat FIFA PS4 and PS1 and now it's on PS4 I grew with FIFA basically because since I was a kid I like to play games and FIFA is one of uh, my favourite games to play and FIFA easily have the best content for me uh, that I enjoy like carry mode and not FIFA yeah, as I also like football, then like basically my favorite team is City. We are famous with the uh, possession style. I mean, not that I play possession in FIFA, but what Pep Guardiola has taught me, uh, it has uh, bring to the team like high pressing in real life, I implement it in FIFA, which is very satisfying when I s execute it in game. Yes, uh, I was my school captain when I was <laughs> in high school. Uh, I studied SMK on the bike. A bit, but when the level at the high school is different compared to professional. But in terms of mental, mentality, I can carry for my real life for experience. Actually, I like to play fast since I was a kid and I got a chance to play the latest console, PS4, 
after SPM. After SPM, I joined Matrix, the, the Matrix program. So basically, my time is very limited for me to join. So I have to play for fun just on the weekend. And then one day, my friend, he entered the local tournament, the Malaysia Cyber Game. I think 2015 or 2016, I, I don't remember. And then my friend uh, got second place on the on that tournament. After he won the second place, he encouraged me to join uh, competitive club because he knows my ability. And since that, uh, since that, I have set the target to enter tournaments. And when I won a few tournaments, I believe that I can go far in this game. My father always said this, whatever you do, always work hard and play hard. Work hard means you study, do your best and play when, whenever you have the time to play. Uh, do it very wisely and use that time 100% to improve yourself as a player. As a student, it's a lot of challenge to compete against the full-time pro players. But we also have the advantage in terms of uh, our age. We are young, so I think as long as we manage to balance our schedule, it will be fine. For this event, of course I want to win and I'm very confident that I can be able to achieve it. So since I'm still young in competitive scene, I have a few achievements on past years but this year was my great breakthrough year as I won the Malaysia Esports League and I got second place in Malaysia's Cyber Game 2018. My biggest achievement today is qualify as I qualified to put the cup number one at Barcelona. That was like the best thing that has ever that has happened to me so far at FIFA. Let's say Asian players compared to Europeans in the IMP at Barcelona, I see a lot of different of mentality uh, and in terms of different of tactics. I must admit, yeah, in terms of skill gap, there's also a bit so quiet a gap between our regions and the Europeans but I believe this is due to their earlier exposure compared to us because we are still uh, young uh, in this mode and as we continue to grow on the next FIFA data I believe we can compete with the European players. My playstyle because I believe that attack is the best defense. I enjoy scoring more than I enjoy keeping cheat <laughs> and I'm more of a skiller. Uh, I like to use skills. That's why my, the players in my team, uh, basically, my players have the best skill moves in the game because I want to use all the skill moves that I can use this game. If there's one player that I can meet, of course, I went to his, <laughs> to his place in last January, but I didn't meet him. It's Lionel Messi. He's the greatest footballer, in my opinion, the greatest footballer of all time. And of course, I want to meet him, my, the greatest footballer. <laughs> <laughs> Before it gets worse. <laughs> Unfortunately not because due to certain circumstances I I find other better options then. But I still keep him my sub just for the sentimental value. Well mostly I believe that that is uh, the main challenge. But like my main challenge like the action which is very minor and mostly my the biggest challenge I can say is my I limit myself uh, most of the time because I put so much respect on my opponent. So I tend to overthink and tend to do a lot of unnecessary things when I when I should keep it simple. So that's one of the things that I try to eliminate when I need to uh, get to the One advice that I keep on uh, believing is that when we play FIFA specifically, and I want I like to emphasize to all the aspiring gamers. Whenever you play this game, it's okay to lose. The thing with our FIFA players, few that I know, we tend to do anything to win, which is good, but we can't improve. In my opinion, to improve, it's okay to lose. As long as we just lose one game, and then we learn from it, and then we move on. Win at all costs is something that I really not encourage to the young gamers, because the thing about FIFA is that we should enjoy the game, and to enjoy it, we have to improve. If we don't improve, then what's the point of playing this game? Since I'm a happy go lucky guy, my philosophy is whatever you do, just enjoy it. Take it as something that you enjoy, and when you play the game, make sure that you will have you don't you will not have any regrets after the match. Hey guys, if you like our content, do like and follow our page. Also, select C first to get the latest game news and updates.
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and select on the notify button to get notified to our latest gameplay trailers. Don't miss out!